Hey, welcome. It's Dr. Nancy Zare and Darlene Petri, and we are going to talk about Don't Be Fooled on LinkedIn because March is Fraud Prevention Month. In fact, Darlene, you brought that to my attention. It says, wait a minute, then try to go live. Okay, so we're not live. Well, it says we are live. Yeah, well, we're trying to go live. Okay, we are live. All right. <laughs> I guess not yet on LinkedIn. I think we might have been live on some other medium. But anyway, again, Dr. Nancy Zare and uh, LinkedIn Whisper, along with Darlene Petri, and we are here to talk about don't be fooled on LinkedIn because there's lots of scam that's uh, uh, out there. Darlene, it, you brought to my attention that March is Fraud Prevention Month. It is, and every year at uh, this time, it's it's Fraud Prevention Month, and people can find events all over because I think it's really important that people get as much information as they can in regards to fraud prevention. And basically, almost, you know, it's interesting. I've been posting, Darlene, about this event, and we've gotten a lot of feedback and a lot of comments. I'm sure you've noticed. But what's been interesting to me is to find out how many people have voluntarily shared with me that they are regularly getting scammed. Mm -hmm. There are so many victims out there, you know, and well, it, it, it's a worldwide, I don't know what you would call a disaster, I think, because it's, it's something that, you know, that isn't, it's sort of taken seriously, but not really. People are trying to get some information out, but I find that there still isn't through the governments and that there isn't enough being done about uh, being people being frauded. They're not being supported as they should be. Right, right. Um, and I just recently received a request uh, from a wealthy a banker uh, who, uh, you know, decided that my unusual last name was worthy of uh, my being an inheritance, uh, getting an inheritance from a, a long lost relative. Now, I, I, it's a total scam, I know, because first of all, my dad made up this last name. Myself, my brothers and their offspring are the only people who have this last name. Um, and we have done extensive research, so I can assure you that uh, there are no long lost relatives, you know, etc. cetera. Yeah. Um, um, and of course, I did not follow through with the scam to find out exactly, but I'm sure I had to pay some money to inherit just buckets, buckets of money. Mm -hmm. oh, and I it was going to be a secret between me and the wealthy banker. And that is definitely a red flag. Right, right, and that, right. You know, and, and that's what we're here about is, is to be able to help people to see what are the red flags. Yeah. So, Darlene, take a moment and share with people your credentials and your background. Why is it that we're doing this broadcast? Well, I think I, I'm the CEO and founder of Scam Prevention International. And I was scammed um, in 2019. It was a romance scam. And I didn't realize anything about scams. I mean, I, I knew of criminals and I knew of people being frauded, but I never thought of it as something being done online um, or that it could happen to a person, you know, playing games on or, or through social media like LinkedIn, because I always felt that LinkedIn was a safe, it's a place to do business. And I just found that there were so many people who did not know anything aside from me about people being frauded and, and being scammed. And like me, so many people thought, well, that would never happen to me. Well, like I said, it did. The truth is, it's not really a matter of if you're going to get scammed, it's just a matter of when you're going to get scammed because scammers are everywhere. They are not just online. They are also people who come to your door. They're people over the phone. I'm sure you know many of you receive those telephone messages. I did receive one actually just before the call today that about my credit card being, you know, uh, fraudulent activity suspected over the phone and so by text and in person can be scammed so 
partnering this week with you for this five week series to me is something that's very beneficial. And it should be more than just during the month of March that yeah. scam prevention is. It's it's a every second of the day thing that right. needs to happen. Right. So the reason why Darlene and I uh, are collaborating, I'm the LinkedIn whisperer, and I help read LinkedIn profiles. And so the reason that we are in collaboration is Darlene really is expert about all sorts of fraudulent activity, not just on LinkedIn, but as she said, through other media. And we're going to specifically talk about LinkedIn because there are, are when you're alerted to what to look for, uh, especially going to someone's profile, then you can avoid some of these scammers. Uh, that doesn't mean that they're not going to reach out to you. It just means that you know that it's bogus. So let's start from the top of the profile, if we can, uh, Darlene, and share with us again what it is that you look for. And by the top of the profile, there's a banner, there's your picture, and we're going to just focus on that right now, and then we'll go underneath, like the actual title and your words and so forth. So go mm -hmm. ahead, Darlene. Okay. I, I think with it, when, when, I, when I'm looking at LinkedIn profiles, the first thing I do is, is I do look at the banner and I look at the profile picture and I want to make sure that the banner is, is consistent with the profile picture. Now, there are many LinkedIn profiles that do not have any information on the banner. And to me, that is one of my first suspicions is why don't they have anything on the banner? No, my caveat is that not all blank um, banners are from scammers. It could be because people don't know what to put in there or they just wanted to see what's going on in LinkedIn. So they just kind of keep keep the profile open and they're not really interested in, in doing business. Um, and so I always look for information in, in the banner. Are the, it, does it look like a, a photo that is clear? Is it a, um, has it been taken from another website? So I'll often do a search, a, a reverse image search. So these are, so, I mean, I'm not always doing this with every single person, you know, that, that I'm doing it. It's when I'm going to do business with them. It's when I'm going to have conversations with them. Um, it's, it's, you know, when, when money is going to be transferred to and from, you know, like if you're going to do business, you really want to do your research. And that's looking at the banner and looking at the profile picture. And I have to say that one thing that I found out in the last few weeks is with the picture, which which I thought, you know, it, it, you don't really think of it, but one there there is an AI website that yes. you can go on and just ask for it to make up a picture, and it's a picture of somebody that nobody, it, it it's nobody's face, but it's it, it looks real. It looks like your everyday, you, you can request whether you want somebody to be older, younger, however you want them. You can tell the AI what kind of position you want to be in and it will it'll make that face for you. So one of the ways of detecting if it is one, and, and, and again, it's not 100% true, you know, not 100% um, um, well, I, I want to say it's reliable. Reliable, that's the word I'm looking for. It's, you know, and that's if you're looking at the circle on your profile, mm -hmm. then if you, so, because it's always a circle, and, and if you're looking on any other site, if it's exactly the eyes, if the eyes are exact center, then, and, and all of the facial features, you know, are, are perfect, um, the, you know, like if everything just seems so perfect, then, you know, that, that is an indication. But it's the eyes, I guess, that is one of the main things that if it's center, those are things to look for. And because if you do a reverse image on one of those kinds of pictures, you're not going to get any fake information on that person. So that's one of the ways I do is, is you know, compare the two, make sure that they're consistent mm -hmm. with what the banner is saying and are they um, 
is is the picture real right and uh, what as i mentioned to you in in posting i got a lot of men telling me that there are some asian women apparently a particular photo of an asian woman who is multi you know she's been broadcast multiple times uh to these guys uh, so it isn't just women who are being, you know, preyed on. Uh, mm -hmm. The men are being preyed on as well. Um, so I want to share a little bit about the fact that I read uh, profiles. And again, um, when something is too perfect, perfect smile and, you know, perfect eyes, and it, we are not actually 100% symmetrical. And, it, you know, our right side and our left side actually look different. And so that's another thing to be aware of, that a real photo is not going to be perfect. So uh, keep that in mind as well. Mm -hmm. that's, that, and that's so true. And, you know, yeah. when you think of, of how many people are on LinkedIn, I, I think it just this year it, it went over the 900 million mark. Um, and... That, that's that that's how many members so it's, it's over 900 million people now and there are you know so many people like i think there was um anywhere between 50 million to i think it was 70 million um that linkedin themselves have said that are fake accounts now that's a lot of fake accounts 50 to 70 million people and with so many people using LinkedIn for looking for work, um, there's something like 40, I think it was 49 million people who are using LinkedIn to uh, apply for a job. And this one here, I, I, was, I was getting stats because everybody loves stats, right? 77 job applications are submitted every second on LinkedIn. Like every second, like it just to me, it's like we really have to watch out for, you know, what's too good to be true and, and where we need to um, know what it is that we are looking for. And, and like you right. said, there's no, there's no red, there's no visible red flag. They're not putting up the red flag there. They're, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, the color combination is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there, you yeah. know, but there are red flags that people can watch for. And I, ideally, my goal through doing Scam Prevention International is to have it so that it's second nature for people to do it, not to be scared of, of, of you know, yeah. that everybody online is a scammer and that you need to start out from that basis. But, you know, pe people need to be cautious. Yeah. So I'll share a little bit more because my particular uh, scammer actually took a photo of a real LinkedIn person. Uh, it, yeah, so beware, your photo may be prey to scammers. And uh, so this uh, particular gentleman, like I told you, who was a banker, happened to be abroad overseas, hence the relative who died overseas. Uh, and, uh, and so that was legitimate. As I looked at his profile, I have to tell you, the profile was legitimate, including the photo, including everything about it. What wasn't legitimate was, of course, the message that accompanied it. So, uh, again, just be aware that uh, looking at a photo, yes, you can detect some irregularities about the, the person's profile or perhaps the banner. Uh, but it, it, And again, all you need is an email address of which you can easily obtain one from, you know, from various places. You need an email address to get a LinkedIn account. And once you've got that LinkedIn account, you can go ahead and create a profile. And that's exactly what is going on. So now, Darlene, how about we've talked about the banner, we've talked about the profile picture. Let's talk about the actual name and the titles and, you know, the, the words that accompany underneath somebody's um, photo. So when we are looking at those, you, so sometimes you will often see um, the names are, they don't, they may not seem consistent with who the person is that you're, you're looking at, name and title, I should say. So you, you may have a young person that is, uh, you know, saying that they're making multi-million dollars or tens of thousands of dollars. 
and um, and and what, so just with the names and when we talk about names, often if it's a male, they'll have the first name and last name. Their their like their 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 last name is like first name, kind of thing. So that's been quite typical. Um, and some of the titles that they have don't match what they do say in the banner and it doesn't match any of the information that's below so they may say that they're a ceo of um, james photography but their name is um sam smith uh, just as as examples you know and, and they're the ceo and founder and then you look down and there and they have different professions than what the um that what the name is so it's always good to check out the names uh you know because you can type in names and and see who all the names are mm -hmm. and does that name match the person like i know with the person that you had there were actually kind of a lot of people that had his name and and and, and you could tell that some of them were fake accounts because in them they didn't have photo with proper photos in them Right. So again, you can't be too cautious and just assume that because somebody has a LinkedIn profile that they filled in the various categories that that automatically makes them acceptable. Um, and I might even suggest a word of caution. Uh, look at how many connections uh, they have, because obviously when you create a new uh, profile, you have very few connections. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, we who are well connected and there's something known as lions in LinkedIn, people who are willing to connect with anyone. Well, that means you can very quickly build up the number of connections you have. So those of us who are being asked to uh, connect with someone we don't know, uh, we do need to check out and look at their profiles to genuinely determine whether this is someone not only that it is, is real, but uh, someone we'd want to add to our network. You know, that uh, is because really then good. our name gets used on behalf of the next person. Oh, I see that you're connected to Nancy Zare or to Darlene Petrie, and now that person worms their way into more connections. Mm -hmm. And it is one of the things, I mean, there now, you know, our AI is such a wonderful thing. I love it. You know, I like playing with it. And so, uh, but with bots and, and AI, there are bot and AI driven profiles. Um, yes. that are created and operated by uh, by programs and that is used to increase the number of connections that they have. So if they have like 25,000 connections and they've only been on LinkedIn for six months and you know that that's kind of a especially since LinkedIn does only allow you 100 um, second level connections so that you know that's that, that's kind of a lot so you have there there are things that you do need to look out for you know right. and, and the, there's different reasons why we do have the scammers online the the, right. the fraudsters and, and some of them you know like they pose as recruiters they pose yeah. as business owners as other professionals and what they want to do is they want you to share their personal information with them so that they can take your money and so that you know they they want to lure you into sending them money if you're looking for a job they usually want you to pay up front for equipment that's needed or to have some tests that have to be done you know and, and they want to download software onto your computer so they can keep an eye on you and see all of your other banking information yeah. and yeah. accounts that you have. And they will also want to see your friends because that they, was like said, that, they want that was another point I was going to make because they are often using us to connect with others. So mm -hmm. again, uh, you know, um, 
and we can talk about those privacy settings in another uh, session. But we are we are nearing the 20 minute mark, and we do want to keep this uh, relatively short, which is why we're doing this in five segments. So today we have covered the LinkedIn banner, the profile, you know, the title under in your name, etc. Um, even initials and degrees. These are things to be uh, watchful for. Uh, next week, we're going to continue down the LinkedIn profile. This is a five-session uh, series. Again, next week, same time, same place. For those of you who are watching either live or the replay, uh, please go ahead. And uh, if you have questions, if you have comments, we welcome them. If you particularly have had a situation where you have been a victim of scam, where we're interested in those stories. Uh, I'm happy to direct message me and for us to talk offline. Uh, anything you want to say before we uh, bid our audience uh, adieu? Yes, I always, my, my final words are always, if it's too good to be true, then it probably is. And don't click on links that are in your, anywhere in your e email boxes or text messages. Just don't click on those links. Do the research. Oh, thank you, Darlene. All right, to your sales success, it's Nancy Zier, the LinkedIn Whisperer, and Darlene Petrie, Scam Prevention International. To your sales success. Thank you.